What's up guys, JB2017 here, and today I'm going to show you the single best contraptions DLC mod out there. And I know I said I was happy with the DLC in my review, but man, this mod just makes the DLC by itself feel incomplete by comparison. There's parts in here that allow you to make infinite loop factories that really make sense. And the best part about it is that it's available now on Xbox One and PC, but also it's already created for PS4 once it comes out. So right now you can click the links in the description below for each respective version. PC, Xbox One, and PS4, add it to your library, and you PS4 players can have it ready to download once mods officially release on PS4. And the mod we're looking at today is called Manufacturing Extended by Kentington, and the general gist of this mod is that it adds a lot of things that felt like they should have been there in the first place with this DLC, as well as new stuff. And so I'm going to go over each of these new items, as well as some of the items that have been changed, some of the machines that have been modified to be pretty much better versions of what they already are. And it's also nice that the download size is very small, so even you guys on PS4, whenever mod support comes out, you can download it and it won't take up a lot of room. The first new device that we're looking at is called the Component Extractor, and all of the new items, by the way, that we'll be looking at are under power and manufacturing because this is called Manufacturing Extended, so that's where you'll be able to find absolutely everything, but I've already placed everything just for demonstration purposes. So right here is the Component Extractor, and it's basically the same as the Vacuum Hopper, except it actually sorts out for components. So just as a test example here, I'm going to look at my workshop and show you guys. So. I am producing plastic pumpkins. For some reason, I'm producing plastic pumpkins. That's what I'm doing. And so they're right here underneath junk. And what this does is pull specific junk out of here as long as you put the actual component that the junk is made of. So plastic pumpkins are pure plastic. So I just placed one plastic in there. And this is actually going to take stuff out of that workshop. It's going to first prioritize the plastic pumpkins and then give me plastic, which is then just going to go straight into my conveyor storage. It's that simple. It's absolutely crazy. So just going to turn this off to show you guys that this is indeed using the plastic pumpkins. I will have less of them. Yeah. So I only have two. I had 10 before or something like that. So it used the plastic first from those pumpkins and then it sent it along here into this standard conveyor storage to store my plastic. So this essentially is one of the pieces that allows you to make pretty much an infinite factory. You know, you can create stuff, funnel them into here. I'll show you how that works in just a second and then take stuff out and create components. So if you want to start everything with a builder, for example, to create, you know, create manufacture, you know, just miscellaneous items like I am right here with these pumpkins, then you can do that. And then you can use one of these to funnel stuff out of your workshop and then put them, you know, into some other kind of builder into the back of one of these other building machines. So that's just a huge thing I feel like was missing from the original thing, the component extractor. But we're going to move on now and look at the recycler. And so just to show off what this does right here, here's a recycler. This basically reverses the process that we're doing right here. So I'm creating pumpkins right there. I'm going to go ahead and switch this to set it on the other path. That's not moving because of some you know graphical glitch or whatever. But anyways, what this does is takes whatever you know items you're going to send through it. So hopefully this yeah goes on the rollers. There we go. And does that recycles. And so it breaks it down into the components that were used to make it. So there goes the plastic and very plain and simple. That's what that does. This is another item that felt like it was missing that kind of connects this loop of creating items and then using those components to further, you know, manufacture new items. Now we're going to go ahead and switch this powered pylon to make sure all of our plastic pumpkins go along this path because this path is for a new device also called the conveyor workshop storage and so essentially i'm building these plastic pumpkins they're going along the conveyor line and they're going into this and instead of collecting in here like a normal conveyor storage it's automatically sent to my workshop so if i go in here and look all these plastic pumpkins are appearing automatically in here it's like magic so they teleport from here into here and then that's how i can use you know a machine like this to go ahead and extract you know plastic pumpkins out of here get the components and do other things with that and so conveyor workshop storage is super super useful and it kind of eliminates the you know fact that you have to connect everything back to the workshop you don't have to you can just you know create stuff and then have it teleport back to your workshop just like that so those are the three new devices that really expand what you can do overall with the tools that we already have. But also the creator of this mod has added several new builders, which are all lined up here. And we're going to hop into this 
um, terminal here once I turn the power on and show you guys exactly what's going on here. And so we have a lot of new ways to can, you know, create new items. And so first off, we have the auto loom. That's the one on the far right. So this is going to create certain vault related. So it's the vault tech auto loom, not just the auto loom. It's different from the original auto loom in that you can create different vault tech related items. So for example, I'm going to set this one to manufacture vault 75 suit. So that's going to come out in just a second here. Next to that is the Power Armor Forge. So this allows you to, yes, create Power Armor. That does require 20 power, so it's quite a steep requirement to even create it. Um, but you can create different chess pieces or different pieces in general. Um, you have to go ahead and set the piece that you want to create. So if I wanted to, let's go back into that. If I wanted to create a helmet, I would have to go into here. Whoops and then set set it to helmet and then click t45 and it would spit out the helmet you know just to show you guys i'm going to set it back up to torso because that's the materials i have in there but anyways we're going to set that and it's going to spit out a t45 chess piece so very cool there it does have pretty steep requirements as you guys saw so it's definitely not just like you know ridiculously easy next we have the melee weapon force this was something i was wondering like why in the hell is this not in this dlc it doesn't make any sense that we can't make melee weapons but now we can thanks to this mod and so you can create all kinds of stuff i'm just going to set it to the baseball bat but you can also create all kinds of stuff as you can tell just tons of options here and i believe options unlock as you level up there's some that aren't in here um actually that looks like most of them but for some of the other builders uh, there are things that you will need you know to level up but anyways we have fist weapon forge as well so if you want to create specific fist weapons and not melee weapons you can do that so we're going to go ahead and set this to knuckles so knuckles will come out and then the last one is another kind of builder but i'll just show you guys exactly all this stuff in action again broken conveyor belt here but yeah it works just how you would expect it to got a baseball bat a t45 chess piece Vault 75 new suit and some knuckles, which are really cool. And so this last one is called the Auto Butcher. And this is a really interesting piece. It breaks down corpses into meat, bone, leather, or other resources, depending on the type of creature. And it also works on humans. And so I don't have an example for you guys, but if you were to place a body in here and it would go through the back, it would come out and spit out all the nasty guts that you would expect it to. And so that is quite um, the interesting new item there. So that is the end of all of the completely new builders and devices in this DLC. However, the creators also made some modifications to existing builders that were not there before, and they all make perfect sense. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on, hop in the terminal, and then show you guys what's new. So first off, the newest change, or one of the first changes I'm talking about, is with the Armor Forge. So if you go in here, now you can create synth armor in three different varieties. And once again, it works just like with the power armor builder that was back over on the other side. You have to create, you know, select the armor piece that you want to create and then go back and then select, you know, hey, I want synth armor light. So we're going to create some light synth armor in just a second here. Next change is to the ammunition plant. It seemed like some ammunition was missing. And so uh, the creator has added a few more types of ammunition not all of them are showing up some that are missing are the plasma cartridges and gamma cells i think you have to level up in order to unlock some of these things but fusion cell flamer fuel cryo cell and also railroad spike these are all new and i really wish they added um 4075 or whatever it is 4570 ammo for the um the bolt action not bolt action lever action rifles for far harbor i hope that's a future update for this piece of uh modding content this mod also new stuff in the explosives mill there's the cannonball so i can create cannonballs we're going to do that in a second but also there are missiles and mini nukes again i have to level up i think in order to unlock those but those do have pretty steep requirements of course as you would expect if you want to actually create mini nukes you need a lot of stuff for that new stuff in the weapon forge as well there's the syringer rifle so you can create that from here and also the railway rifle will be unlocked if i were have to or have to if I was to level up and then that would be there and then energy weapon forge as well has Institute weapons so here's the Institute laser gun if I want to create that I need all of these components in order to do that and so all of these are gonna run except this one what's wrong with this one the weapon forge yeah it's running as you can tell it works just like you would expect it to got a synth chess piece fusion cell cannonball Institute pistol and well it was working a second ago 
So you guys pretty much get the gist. This is the definitive expansion to the Contraptions Workshop DLC. I mean, this is perfect. This does exactly what I would want it to do. And especially with this stuff, the recycler and, you know, the conveyor storage and um, the component extractor. I mean, you can make infinite factories with this stuff. You can make a, an effective loop that uses materials in just the right way, funnels them into the workshop and then takes them out and uses them to create stuff over here like with those builders or those builders it really does expand what you can do and i totally encourage that you guys download it once again links in the description below to bethesda.net where you can add it to your library very easily I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments below. Are you going to get this mod and what will you build with it? Once again, you can make infinite self-sustaining factories with this mod. So I'd like to hear what you guys are planning to build in the comments below. All right, guys, today I shared the manufacturing extended mod for the Contraptions Workshop DLC pack. Next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel. So stay tuned for Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. If you learned something new or enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more Contraptions DLC coverage, my survival mode live streams, Bethesda.net mods, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.